So I got asked a pretty interesting question on Facebook Messenger last night. Then I'll I'll go ahead and answer live while you guys can see me actually using the rod and reel. And the question was, how do I feel the Revo MGX compares with the Shimano Curato DC? Okay, so this question takes a little bit of, of, of doing in order to answer appropriately. So get ready for a little bit of a longer segment. The truth of the matter is, in my mind, I don't think that the Shimano Curato DC and the MGX are competitors. Uh, the Shimano Curato DC retails in the 260, 250 range and the MGX is a $350 reel, okay? So, I mean, yes, they both they compete with each other in, in regards to the fact that they're both bait casters and they're not, you know, super cheap ones. But the truth of the matter is, is that the, the DC is, is more directly comparable to like the Revo SX, okay? Not the MGX. The MGX is in a, a tier higher as far as um, price and features and quality goes. But nonetheless, um, I can see somebody going, hey, I only have more, I only have money for one decent bait caster, and which one would I pick? Well, if I was picking out of the, either the MGX or the Curato DC, that's a no-brainer for me. I would pick the MGX. <laughs> you know, it's, just, it's just a better reel. Um, it costs 100 bucks more. But, I mean, you know, it's a better reel. So, what's the comparison between the two? However, if you if you take the price out of the equation, well, oop, had a hit. Let me see. Whoa, might have been a turtle. But anyway, to continue what I was saying, um, the Curato DC. The casting distance and stuff like that it depends entirely upon where you have the digital control set. Obviously, if you have it set on four, it's not going to cast as far. If you have it set on zero, there's no assistance from the DC, and you can get the full distance out of it. So, does the MGX throw further than the DC? Yes, it does. Okay, um, I can easily make 50, 60 yard cast with this reel with with pretty light effort, to be frank. Um, Whereas the Curato, not knocking it, it's a good reel. Just it just isn't as smooth or as refined. But then again, it's it's a whole tier lower, you know. Um, the centrifugal brakes on this thing are externally adjustable, so I can knock them up or down depending on you know the weather conditions and winds and stuff like that. Plus, it's a lighter reel by far because it has no you know electromagnetic controls or anything like that. So it's, it's more responsive and sensitive. As you know, it's a physics thing. You know, uh, those that do car audio will understand this concept that when you're trying to deaden a vehicle, what you use is mass loaded vinyl panels, you know, because you need the mass to dampen the vibrations. Well, mass dampens vibrations. So the lighter and, and snappier a rod and reel combination is, the more sensitive it's gonna be because mass dampens vibrations. So, you know, for that too, the MGX is superior because it has less mass. It's made to be light. Whereas the Curato with its, with its electromagnetic controls and all that kind of stuff is, is inherently going to be a heavier reel and rod combo because the reel is so much heavier. Now, you guys have seen me use that Curato DC extensively. It's a good reel and I would recommend it to pretty much anyone, you know. Um, especially new fishermen who, who aren't really used to using a bait caster. That's that's perfect setup for them, man. It, it's really hard to backlash even with minimal control of your thumb. But the MGX is in a different class. It is by far superior in almost every way to the DC. And right now, with the prices of the MGXs being on sale, like I said, you can get the two reels for comparable prices, the Curato DC and the MGX. And it is an absolute no-brainer. Get the MGX if you're an experienced fisherman. You'll you'll appreciate it much better. So I hope that answers the question that I got by Facebook Messenger in a more detailed way than simply replying back real quick at 12:30 at night, going like, "Oh, get the MGX." <laughs> you know?
<laughs> so hope that explains why I answered get the MGX. So, but this cold front really seems to have shut down the fish. I'm probably just going to head to the house and uh, come back a little bit later when it warms up a little bit.